A few days ago, I posted a video claiming to have the fastest carrot farm on the Hypixel network. It also works with potatoes, wheat, and nether wart, but we'll ignore that for now. I learned, thanks to a commenter, that the spiral farm made by Dark Infusion was faster. And fun fact, he also commented on the video. And since I didn't want to be shown up by anyone, I decided I'm going to get all the numbers on my farm and I'm going to see just how much better or worse it is. So I decided to conduct three farming sessions and recorded the amount of carrots I got. The reason it's not the amount of money I got is because the amount of items is generally more consistent because that'll only change your farming fortune and stay consistent, unlike bizarre prices which can fluctuate quite heavily. There is a download link to the folder in the description of this video which contains a little bit more information and detail about the tests. So, after the three tests, these are the drops I got, each row representing a different hour. Taking all the numbers and averaging them out, I got 1.745 million carats per hour. But using a calculator provided by Darkin himself, his farm would get me 1.773 million carats per hour. While this is faster by about 32,000 carats, let me tell you why I still think my farm could be a little bit better. There's two main reasons why I think my farm is all around better. Well, kind of three, but we'll get into that. The first reason is that my farm is just all around easier to farm. What do I mean by this? Well, if you have a look at my channel, mainly the streams focusing on farming Netherwart, because it's the same concept, I was able to farm roughly 12, but it's closer to 11, hours per day. And the reason I was able to do this is because I rebinded my keys so I could just farm with one hand. You might be thinking, well, even if you can farm with one hand, it doesn't boost the efficiency of your farm. And that's where you're technically wrong, because if it's an easier farm to farm, then you'll be less likely to get burned out or tired from doing it. In the spiral farm, you need to keep turning your head to farm. So over long periods of time, say 4, 5 plus hours, regardless of how fast your farm is, human error still plays a big role in the rates that you'll get each hour. I feel as if my farm has reduced these. Again, going back to the spiral farm, you need to turn your head to continue farming. And while this is obvious, the human reaction time plays a role in how fast you'll be able to turn your head and continue farming. Which is small, but it'll add up over time. Whereas with my farm, all you need to do is change between pressing A and D. So only two directions and changing between two keys. It's pretty much impossible to completely get rid of human error unless you're one of a select few people in the entire world. So my farm being able to minimize it could boost the numbers, but that's relatively hard to calculate. Speaking of human error impacting your farm's rates, there's one other not fully reason why I think the calculator isn't going to be 100% accurate. Because it can't take into account certain aspects like ping, lag spikes, or again, the human reaction time. And while I can't take that into account either, I'm at least an Australian, so I'm naturally laggy. But again, not a full reason, so don't really count this. But if you want to see anything else, such as the time it takes to farm a row, or the falling speed, or certain notes that I took in between doing tests, Again, the download link for the complete folder is in the description of this video. But regardless of which farm you choose to build, my farm for its easier method to farm, or Darkin's Spiral Farm for its higher rates, make sure that you check out and subscribe to both of our channels. I respect all farmers in Skyblock, except one. And I hope you all have enjoyed this video. And remember to farmers, keep farming.